All right, so here we are at Fujin and Raijin. Fujin and Raijin is a pretty easy trial, uh, and I'm going to try to do it the easiest way possible. So it wants you to do it without anybody dying. I want you to do it in five turns with a party of four or less. Okay, so we're going to do this in three turns, hopefully, uh, with a party of four or less. We're And we're not using espers, okay? We're not using any espers. We're not using any gear from Neovision bases except for Riser because he's basically free right now. Uh, and we're not using any Neovision base units. I try to use only units that you could get with uh, the summon select tickets or that we're giving away free currently. All right. So we've got Squall and Cypher, Selfie, and then uh, Lone Lion Squall. OK, so let's take a look at the gear. We have Lionheart from the Chronicle Battle, Risers, tr uh, Super Trust Mastery, Glacial Battle Garb, Double Warlord Leg Guards. These are all STMRs uh, from five star base units. Love by Generations, again, that's from Riser. Uh, Man Eater Sense, that's from a trial. Dark Aspirations, that is from Knight Delita, another five star base. And Believing Until the End, that's from Story Mode, Blue Mage Fina. The Vision Card is Dramatic Costume Change. I picked that one because you can get it from the uh, Vision Card Select Summon Tickets. Then from Selfie, the important thing that we have with her is uh, we actually don't even need Blue Wave on her. Um, the important thing we have with her is Faraga and everything else. I just basically you can hit optimize for HP. But make sure that she has Faraga on her. OK, that's it. Just literally I make sure she has HP and Faraga. Faraga comes from Vivi. You can also just regular like, what is it, three star base VV? Maybe it's four star base. Um, or you can also get it from uh, Ifrit or Flame Whip Replica or Phoenix. But I chose to use the VV version. The reason we're using Faraga is because Squall, Lone Lion Squall, will be using fire damage. And if it's all fire hitting in the same move, then it does more damage. OK, we have Cypher using dual cast. Dual cast comes from Ludmeal, which is a three star base trust mastery and Faraga again. And Squall is using dual cast and Faraga again. And then we just just hit optimize for HP on these units. But make sure that they have that. OK, so I just put some HP gear on them. OK, um, Cypher, I have for evasion. So he has his own trust mastery. And then Colorful Lays and Renor's Conductor Uniform just for some HP. But he caps out on Evasion with the um, two Colorful Lays and his own Trust Mastery. Okay, I just have this on here for some HP. All right. So let's go in again. No Espers. All right. So we're going to start off with targeting Fujin, Fujin, we're going to do triple trigger with Lone Lion Squall, and we're going to do fire imbue, fire imperil, and uh, uh, it's a fire based attack. OK, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to do a fire imperil to Fujin for two turns, and it's going to be 125 percent fire imperil. OK, and then we're just going to. Uh, boost his attack and everything. OK, uh, selfie. Now, this is important. We're going to use double selfie. You can also use triple, but like the third move is, an, is irrelevant. We're going to use slot wall. Slot wall is just going to do a physical magical damage reduction and a elemental resistance buff. And then we're going to use boost Final Fantasy eight. This is going to boost resistance to confusion. That's super important because this boss does do AOE confusion. All right. So now we're immune to confusion. And uh, then Cypher is just going to do provoke, which is called Yashka Slice. That's his provoke. And Squall can just use guard. The regular Squall. All right. So we get uh, we're on to turn two. All right. Turn two. Selfie's going to hit guard. Regular Squall is going to hit guard. Cypher's going to do provoke again. And Lone Lion Squall is going to do triple trigger. Now targeting Raijin. And he's going to do accelerating edge. We choose to fight back and Lion Spirit. Okay. 
And that's it. We wait for turn three. It looks it looks nasty. It does a lot of damage, but that's it. Now, this may, because of variance rolls from the weapon, may not kill them. If it doesn't kill them on this turn, just reset and try again. OK. If you are using the same gear I have on Lone Line Squall, he's going to carry this entire fight for you. All right. So we do Squall's LB and then we do double Faraga dual cast with Faraga and then all the units except for Squall are going to do dual cast and Faraga, which is a Chaos Wave Awaken Chain. OK, the reason I picked this is because it is in the fire element and it is AOE, so we'll hit both of them. OK, uh, so we're just going to hit all four of them at the same time. And if your variance roll is high, that's it. Or hot, just not not bottom tier. It doesn't have to be high, it just has to be not bottom tier. All right, so there you go. That's that's it. Hopefully this guide helped you guys out a little bit. Much love and peace.